Ukrainian president's pledge to recover Russian annexed Crimea is being called a direct threat by the Kremlin. The US, NATO and Europe have repeatedly warned Moscow against taking military action in Ukraine, but fears are now mounting in the West over a potential Russian invasion. In the spirit of being uh, clear and candid, uh, which is the best thing to do, uh, if Russia decides to pursue confrontation, uh, there will be serious consequences. In late October, videos began emerging on social media showing Russian troops, tanks and missiles being moved towards the Ukrainian border. Kiev says more than 90,000 Russian troops have amassed there, while Moscow accuses Kiev of pursuing its own military build-up. A similar Russian military deployment occurred in spring, though Moscow pulled back after Vladimir Putin and Joe Biden announced a summit. Some experts speculate that the military activity was intended to draw such diplomatic benefits and that Russia could currently be employing the same tactic. What's for sure is that the Kremlin is making its red lines heard. Above all, that NATO must not expand eastwards into Ukraine. Russia is demanding legal guarantees over this from the organization after condemning recent US NATO military drills in the Black Sea and the sending of modern weaponry to Ukraine from the West. The United States fears that Russia might use any perceived Western provocation as a pretext for military action. Analysts say that a Russian invasion of Ukraine would not be in Vladimir Putin's interest, as it would mean occupying a country of 45 million people, most of whom resent Moscow.